the United Nations Association of Uganda and other civil society fraternity have urged the government of the Republic of Uganda to incur more efforts towards implementing sustainable development goals. Otherwise, it's likely to fail to achieve the target as agreed during the United Nations 2015 summit in the New York, America, where President Yuri Kaguta Museveni was the co-chair. Julius Mohomaza reports. During the United Nations Summit 2015, where President Yoweri Kaguta Museveni was the co-chair person, Uganda adopted sustainable development goals, committing to take bold steps to change people's lives better. Some of these SDGs included ending poverty, hunger, achieving food security and improved nutrition and promoting sustainable agriculture, ensuring good healthy lives, and more others. Today makes six years of implementation and counting down to nine years to reach year 2030 where we are supposed to achieve all these SDGs. However, according to SDG monitors, Uganda is likely to miss out on the target of achieving these goals if no more efforts are incurred. It is important to recognize that we have done well on some of the targets of the sustainable development goals. If you look at the overall poverty levels in many areas, these have gone down. But those are per capita levels. There are many uh, societies where poverty has actually become worse. And those need to be dealt with. According to Richard Baguma, the Secretary General, United Nations Association of Uganda, despite of Uganda performing very well in the implementation of some SDGs, it has been reluctant in some sectors. Many areas where Uganda has done very well, even in comparison to everyone else, in the areas of HIV, in the areas of malaria, in the areas of immunization, there are areas where we have done very well. There are also areas where we are doing very poorly. In some of the areas of which relate to nutrition and hunger, we are doing poorly. In he says that in the health sector, some aspects have remained addressed as indicated in the agreement. In many of the areas which relate to maternal health, we have not made any progress. Sometimes we are making retrogress. So, they, they, it's a mixed bag of things. Civil society fraternity say that Uganda should put more efforts in the implementation of sustainable development goals if it is to achieve the target. As we implement the SDGs, uh, the SDG agenda, it's time that we prioritize the local governments and to bring them on board so that their plans are aligned to the SDGs. This is an area where we see that through prioritizing and involving local governments, we shall be able to achieve the SDGs. He reveals on why sustainable development goals are not being fully implemented. There are a couple of reasons that are hindering us, and there are many, but I can highlight some. One of the things for me, I think, is the poor utilization of the resources, which may not be much, but the available resources. We misuse them. But one of the things where we have also been very, very weak is the dissemination of information about the need for development, the development program, and the beneficiary empowerment. Baguma also says COVID-19 pandemic has also affected most countries towards the fight to achieve SDGs, including Uganda, because it's estimated that in some areas, COVID-19 has reversed development by 50%. COVID-19 has been one of the largest reversal of any development effort globally. In some of the places, actually, you find that development processes have been curtailed by more than half percent. The funding, the activities, the people, the plans. And so, while the developing world has been investing trillions of dollars in trying to revive their economies, we have not been doing equally the same. This story was filed by Julius Mohumza for Dream TV News.